Hi, uh, I'm Trav J, and I'm going to be doing a bucket plugin tutorial. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is come to this website right here. Um, I'll post that in the description, and you're going to come down to where it says "Reference the Bucket API." Now it has a little link here. That's the uh, API that you're going to want to download. So I'm just going to download that. Okay. It's thinking. Okay, in the meantime, we're going to come in here. We're going to say new uh, new Java project. Now, we're, we will name this whatever we're going to make. Um, I'm just going to name this admin chat for my next tutorial. Um, so it'll make that. Now you're going to want to come to source and do new package. Now, um, I just do me.travj dot whatever plugin it is so admin chat that's going to be our main um, now we're going to do a new class and um, I just like making the main class just name main um, so we're just going to do that um, now it looks like this is downloaded so we're just going to drag this onto the desktop and now we're going to come in here uh, we're going to say build path and configure build path. I'm going to say add external jars. I'm going to select that and import it. Okay, now that we've got this, we're going to do extends Java plugin. Um, that's just saying, you know, it's going to be a plugin. And we're going to import that from bucket. And now we're going to add our methods. So we're going to do public void on enable. Um, that's this is just going to be the code it runs when the plugin enables itself. And we're also going to do public void on disable. So that's the code it's going to run when it disables the plugin. Um, so now we're just going to do logger log. That's defining the logger object that we're going to import from Java. And in this public on enable, we're going to do log equals this dot get logger. Um, so now, when the plugin enables, we're going to send a message to the console saying it's been enabled. So to do that, we're going to say log.info. And then we'll say... Um, admin chat has been enabled. And log.info... Admin chat has been disabled. Um, so that'll just print to the console when you enable it. It'll say admin chat has been enabled and disabled. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to make our plugin.yml. This is what stores all the commands, the name of your plugin, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to say new file. And we're going to title this plugin.yml. And click finish is going to open that. I like opening it in here because it's easier. Um, but now you're going to do name, and the name of this plugin is admin chat main. This is the package that your main, it, it, this is the whole route to your package. So mine is me.travj.admin chat.main because main is the class that it's in. Um, now you're going to do version 1.0 and that's pretty much all it needs to run the plugin without commands. Now if you're going to add commands, you're just going to do commands and then you're going to go to the next line and do two spaces then your command line, uh, then your command. And for this plugin I'm just going to do 
admin chat. And now you're going to add a description. So two spaces from that, you're going to write description. And this um, allows admins to talk to each other. Um, so that is really all y it takes to set up a plugin. Um, my next video will be on adding the commands and making them do things and, you know, ma making this whole plugin work. So basically, um, this has just been a video on how to set up a plugin. And my next video will show the basics of how to get that plugin to do stuff. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.